तो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल एंड दिस इज योर वेरी ओन मास कोड दिस साइड सो टुडे द प्रॉब्लम इज गिवन टू बी ऑप्टिमल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर अ गेम राइट सो लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम सो द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट यू हैव बीन गिवन एन अरे ऑफ कॉइंस दिस अरे रिप्रेजेंट्स द नंबर ऑफ कॉइंस राइट 5 3 6 7 1 यू हैव टू प्लेयर्स प्लेयर ए प्लेयर बी बोथ आर वेरी स्मार्ट प्लेयर्स राइट प्लेयर ए हैज टू मेक द first move and the player b has to make second move and alternative turns like third move is for a fourth move is for b right in one operation or actually in one move what is happening is the player selects either the leftmost uh, leftmost coin value or the rightmost coin value player selects leftmost or rightmost right so if my a is turn is first a can actually select 5 or 7 and this number of coins will be added to the a's total right so if a selects 5 is a will have num- uh, a will have total number of 5 coins if a selects 7 a will have total number of 7 coins right okay and if a selects 7 then a will be rejected from a will be deleted from the array and if a selects 5 5 will be deleted from the array right now it is given to us that a and b both are playing optimally right both are playing optimally they won't want to win they both want to win now it is said to us that we have to tell how many maximum how many maximum points can a gather can a gather remember b is also playing optimally b is also playing optimally so if we analyze the case we have 5 3 6 7 what are the number of cases that can be formed so it can be that a first selects 5 right now b has its turn we can select either 3 or we can select either uh, 7 also so a5 53 or 57 these are one of the cases in the first iteration right 5 357 if a select 7 b can actually select 5 or b can actually select 6 right similarly after this if 53 happens if 53 happens 67 is left so a can select actually 6 and b can select 7 this is the only case left or 5 7 happens then a can actually select 3 or 6 and this will also be uh, 7 comma 6 also right so like there are many multiple cases right uh, we have to explore all the cases like my main point is to tell you let's explore all the cases to find out the maximum value explore all the cases to find out the maximum value right so i think you have got my point whenever i say explore all the cases the i directly mean use recursion use recursion and after recursion if possible use dp that is dynamic programming so what will happen here is we have got an array as 5 3 6 7 right my first turn is for a my first turn is for a a like i say that this is my left pointer this is my right pointer right i say that a can actually select left a can select left or a can select right right a only has these two options right and uh, we will talk about b turn also so a is, a can actually select left or a can actually select right now if a actually selects the left one what is the value that is being added it is being plus 5 right where well, that is a of left plus right so if a selects 5 now the turn is for b b can also select left or right right but the left here is left plus 1 right b can actually select the 3 or 7 right and right remains same okay So there can be two cases. B selects left plus one, or B selects right. There can be two cases. B selects left plus one, or B selects right. Right. In case B selects left plus one, in case B selects this value three, we are left with it now. Now the now for the A's turn, I can actually select with six seven. I can actually select with six seven. So I will have to tell if A selects L, B selects L plus one. I will have to increment my value by suppose this function is solved. Solve for left plus 2 comma same right see what I, what what i have done is i say that a selects left b has two options to either select this value or to select this value if b selects this value now my sub array actually gets reduced to 6 7 with a is turn only now my left is actually at this point that is left plus 2 value and my right remains at same value so i am i have pointed out that only that a if a is if a is selecting l i will have to increment my a is of left now l if uh, a is of left have two options b select left plus 1 or b select right 
So for left, uh, if b selects left plus one, I will have to solve for left plus two and right. But if b selects for right, if b selects for right, my array will be this three six. My array will be three six. So that is left plus one, comma right. So I hope I understood. Uh, you understood that why is this two things coming right? Similarly, I would like you to pause the video and tell me the case for right. That is, if in this five three six seven we had two options, right? A could actually select seven. A could actually select five. We select, checked out for five. What will be the value for seven, right? If we, if A selected seven, so I hope you attempted it on your own first, and then you are looking at the solution. So if A attempt, if A picked up seven, plus seven will come automatically. Now if A picked up right, this element gets deleted, right? Okay. Now B has two option. My left is actually here. My right is actually here. B has two options to select left. If B selects left, what is the option here with us? We will have to solve for left plus one. And right minus one. That is exactly the this case. This will be right minus one also here, right? Okay. And other cases, if B selects R, that is this value. Then we have the array as left comma right minus two. So left comma right minus two, right comma right minus two. Now, now we have to select the maximum of these cases. That is, we will find the minimum of these cases and then select the left maximum of these cases, right? So I hope this will work for you. So what is happening is a pseudo code is working something like this. So we are defining a function solve, which is taking our array, our left pointer, which is initially sent as zero, and right pointer, which is initially sent as n minus one. Right. Now, the base case is include that if left is actually greater than right, that is, my left pointer, which is actually here. Comes here and my right pointer actually moves here. That in that case, all the elements have been deleted. So uh, simply return zero. Return zero, right? Otherwise, if my left is equals to equals to right, if my left is equals to equals to right, only one case is left. I can only return that element, right? And no other subcases can be formed. So return array of left. Moving to the cases. Now the recurrence relation says, let's say that my long long left value becomes uh, solve for left plus two right, which we mentioned why, comma solve for left plus one comma right minus one. We will take the minimum of these two. We will take the minimum of these two. Why? Because we have to minimize what is B taking. We have to minimize what is B taking. That is player two is taking right, and similarly R is for minimum of solve for uh, left comma right minus two comma solve for left plus one and right minus one, right? But now these two are returning the sum of left. So these two are returning the sum of uh, what is the value getting at A. So I will have to return the maximum of these two. So I will say return. Max of L comma R, right? This is my code right now. Now this will run absolutely fine, but it will be giving us a TLE, right? It will be giving us a TLE because we are using raw recursion. Now, whenever I say that you have to use raw, you have, you do not have to use raw recursion. What do you do? You say we will use DP. We will use DP, right? And I have taught in multiple earlier videos that whenever you have to use DP, you have to follow three basic steps. First step is you have to see what variables are changing? What variables are changing? So in the function solve, array A is remaining same. Left and right are changing. So I will have to make a DP array of tie size two. So DP of n plus one, n plus one initialized by minus ones, right? Second step, I will have to see if DP of left right is not equals to minus one. Return that. So if DP of left right is not equals to minus one return the same thing this thing will, will will be same here right and whenever we are returning something you just update your dp array so dp of left right becomes this this is the whole code this is the whole pseudo code with including dynamic programming you can either uh, you can efficiently differentiate between the recursion and what are the dp code right 
so i hope we should move to the code now and just wrap the video up because i think it has taken much, much more long much more long time than you before starting to the code i would like you to uh, i would like you to request you to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and like the and hit the like button as much as you can so what do i be doing we are saying that long long answer is actually equals to let us say the function solve and we will send a array a and our left as zero and our right and our right as n minus one and say return answer right and let us find the solve function so solve that is long long solve int arr int left int right a base case was that if int left is greater than right in that case return zero otherwise if left equals to equals to right in that case return arr of left otherwise a long long left that is whenever the person a takes left in that case what you are taking we are taking the minimum of solve array for left plus two comma right and solve array of left plus one comma right minus one and similarly long long we're not uh, let us mention it as lrr because left and right are already existing in the above code as variables right so min of solve of arr of left same and right minus two and solve of arr of left plus one right minus one exactly same as the above right right minus one and we say return max of l comma r Right, so let us show you that this recurrence radiation is also working fine, and then we will include the DP into it. So, oh. oh, it will be array of left plus right. We have to increment, but the what 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 do we are taking right? You, you see, we are we were incrementing five, five and seven uh, correspondingly. So array of right. Now it should work fine, I guess. Yeah, it is going running fine. Let us include the DP into it as soon as we can. So vector of vector of int, not not int. I will take the long long int, right? So long long. Take it as DP, and the size will be n plus one, n plus one. Vector of long long n plus one minus one, and send the DP into it. By reference, obviously, right? Because we have to make the changes and we have to count them in our purpose. So vector of vector of long long and dp and whenever it is not minus one, return it. So if dp of left right is not equals to minus one, return dp of left right and whenever you are updating it, so dp of left right becomes this also i always forget every forget it every time to include it in the calling function so dp here dp here dp here and dp here let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine now so running fine for the compiler and test case and let's try it for all the hidden test case also that are submit button okay so you can see we have completed it and it has been a 115 day streak thank you guys for watching do not forget to subscribe if you're new here and do connect with me on the linkedin the link is mentioned in the description thank you for watching have a nice day